do you want to retire with a free and clear house and a little bit of money in the bank? Or do you want to retire with millions in retirement and a house that's free and clear? Majority of mortgage people are going to give you what you ask for. True professionals are going to have higher level conversations. Unique thing in our business is that I look at everything. I look at income, I look at assets, I look at everything in someone's life. And too many people miss that opportunity in the mortgage business. I love to teach clients on little things that I learned in my life that I can help them make great long-term decisions that are gonna make a difference the rest of their life. I wanna share something with you that I do with clients right now. If I've got a client that wants to put 50, $60,000 down for a house, we're gonna take a look at that option. We're gonna take a look at another option of putting less money down and fully funding their retirement account. And also as I look at their income, I'm gonna talk about how much more they could be putting away into their 401k. And I want to share with you how in a couple little examples can make a massive difference over a long period of time. Eighth one of the world compounding interest. Let me show you one of my favorite websites that I love to use with clients to share something different than just the mortgage. So this is one of my favorite websites and I use this often uh, in presentations with clients talking about the eighth one of the world uh, compounding interest. Uh, federal government website, it's investor.gov. And underneath here, you go to financial tools and calculators on the tab. And you drop down the first one there, which is called compound interest calculator. I like to use this, um, especially uh, with first time home buyers. Let's talk about uh, someone just getting started in their 401k. And let's say they have $5,000 they put away in their 401k, maybe mid 20s starting to put money away. And we'll look at what they're contributing their 401k. A big mistake that a lot of people look at, they only put away the amount of money their company matches. I think that's a big mistake. We get compounding interest, whether the company's matching it or not, it is great to get that money in there. So uh, in an example, let's say we can get a client um, to a position that they're going to be putting $500 away on a monthly basis in their 401k. At 25 years old, they have about 40 years uh, until retirement. And past performance is not indicative of future results. I'm not selling anything here. Um, the majority of the money that most clients should be using and their first thing should be is through their 401k, through their company. Uh, if they're with a government uh, agency, it's I think, I believe it's a 403, if not an IRA. But I, I want to just share this. This isn't anything, a financial instrument that I'm selling or I'm promoting. I'm just talking about whatever it is. But for most people, the first one is their employer. So if we can put $500 away per month, for 40 years at a 10% interest rate. 10% is an interesting, like, well, why 10%? I don't earn 10% right now. Well, some years when you're in the stock market, you could earn 20, 30%. Some years you lose. Uh, it's back and it's forth and it's up and down. With this client at 25 years old, they have a 40 year time horizon. Over the last 30 years and the last 40 years, the stock market has returned an S&P 500 standard uh, funds have returned around 10%. So I wanna use 10% as a number. You can play with this, you go to the website and say, what if I only got 5%, what if I got 12%? I'd like to use 10 when I'm calculating things out over a long period of time. In this example, this client at 25 years old from just putting away $500 per month will accumulate about $2.8 million at retirement at 65 years old, simply by putting away $500 per month and done so for an extended period of time. What gets really fun at this website, if you go back up and say, wow, $500, what's gonna happen with most people at 25 years old, at 35, at 45, peak earning years for most people uh, are in their 50s. So. What should happen in your career, you continue to make more money as you go on in your career. If that's the case and you start moving money up, like let's start putting away $700 instead of $500. Let's look at what $700 looks like over 40 years. It takes us up to nearly $4 million from simply a couple hundred more dollars a month. And the fascinating thing with 401k, um, finding 200 more dollars may have been the difference of you taking home $150 or $140. But if you were able to put away $200 more a month and do so consistently for 40 years, that would net a result of, of nearly a million more dollars from just a couple hundred dollars a month. Eighth one of the world, compounding interest. Uh, great site, encourage you to use it and play with it.